Hello. Another bug here. And this is um this is the last video from this room. Um finally finishing my move. So it's the last video from my brother's game room. Uh, it's provided a very good backdrop, hasn't it? Um you like some of the little trinkets that he's collected over the years. I really like that that uh, the Cactus Jack wanted. With Cactus with Mick Foley's signature on it. Really cool. A few little cool little trinkets he's got. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh it's, it's going wrong. I've broken it. <gasps> it's going to kill me. Anyway. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about something now on my last video from this room. Don't worry, it's my, not my last waffle video. <laughs> they will come uh, from the new area, from the new filming location, new new locale. Uh, you've already there's already been a video recorded in that area, um, but it's not assembled yet. It won't it will more like look more like the old waffle corner from my previous uh, waffle videos. Um, when I was talking the other day with a few YouTube friends about uh, YouTube itself and where where's it going and yeah I'm, you know, it's got problems and there's censorship issues maybe and and now we've got the United States possibly giving control over the internet to the UN and who knows where that's gonna go so it's it's a minefield ahead but um, I thought I'd just reflect on the last three years of being on YouTube and what does it mean to me now? What does YouTube mean to you? Is it um, vital in your life? Is it a part of your life that you can't live without? Is it still just something you can throw away? Is it essential to your information sourcing and entertainment values? That kind of thing. Um, is it your employment? There's lots of reasons why people do YouTube. Because I started, and I've said this before, I started originally just to respond to one person. And then I got the bug. I got the Nova bug. The Nova bug got the bug. After making that first video. And, and the people I got in contact with that first time, like Dave Laws and Voice Post, like Retro and Lynn, um, And then people like JL76 followed on afterwards and other people. Uh, and Steve Benway, of course, and others. And then it just blew up from there and I got to know more and more people and got to be friends with more and more people. And it changed for me. It changed. It, it, it initially became something to... Oh, it was fun to do. And it still is great fun to do. Um, and I still will I'll do it as long as I can. Uh, I, I'm, I, I've, no, I've not one of these people that have thought, well, I'm getting a bit pissed off with YouTube. A bit, I think I'll just quit. It's too much stress. Well, I see... I'm quite of a highly strong person anyway, so that doesn't, be, you know, stress sort of goes in and out. It flies through my head all the time. You know, there are occasions I can be laid back and calmed down. But, you know, I go, I swing both ways. Not like that. Straight down the line. But anyway, it's, it, is, it has evolved for everyone. And, you know, what does it mean to me now? What does YouTube mean to me now? What are the most important things about it? And I'm going to use that word that everyone hates, but community is a major thing. And YouTube has become like a portal, there's a video game reference there, to opening up a lot of um, opportunities to me personally. And I suppose this goes for other people as well. Because when I, when I originally started, I thought, you know, I was looking at the big channels, looking at the AVGNs and looking at the game chasers and all this kind of stuff. Oh, wow. If I could, like, get that amount of people watching my shit. Not literally. I'm not into that kind of stuff. But if they were watching that, you know, watching my stuff, I could, I could actually do this as a job. And wouldn't that be fucking fantastic? Yes, it would. But then it soon dawned on me, within months, the realisation of how YouTube works and, and the, the, the ge geographics of it and the actual reality of it. It's not like that. You can't switch on, oh, I'm going to start making videos and, and make that a full-time job. It doesn't work like that. It takes a lot of hard work. It takes a great big slice of luck uh, to be as big as the likes of PewDiePie and stuff. 
and of course it's not what you know it's who you know a lot of the time what you know helps a lot uh, honestly the quality of the video the amount of time and effort you put in you will get rewarded more but the amount of success you're going to get is sometimes tied to a lot of luck sometimes and who you know uh, effort is always the first thing you should stop at though effort and quality and ideas I'm always an advocate for ideas and fresh ideas so it's um that's what it's become for me it's something to nurture my imagination I could do this when I was doing writing and I still do writing now um, but the media platform of YouTube and the kind of instant response you get you know in comments and privately and, and getting to know people on a personal level away from YouTube itself is very uh, enlightening and very enriching and it's ple it's very pleasing uh, to meet lots of different people from different walks of life with different points of view to you some you know along the same lines because you've all got that common trait you're all YouTubers you have that common line that you can all agree on well not agree on but share uh, so it's very mind opening for a lot of people and it has been mind opening for me and I think it's defined me better as a person I mean it's not the be all and end all but it's just helped uh, at the same time providing me with goals I've got goals for you amazing I've got goals and I'll keep you off and I've got fucking goals amazing that isn't it um, but I do have goals I've never said them really publicly I know I would like to get to about 10,000 subscribers that's kind of my ultimate goal I think 10,000 subscribers I would be very very happy with that and you know on a, on a monetary point of view I can make a little bit of extra money like that which which is great I mean I'm not going to beat around the bush here I'm not one of these people that forces advertisement in your face. I'm not one of these people that shoves Patreon in your face. I have a Patreon. It's in the, it's in the description box, but I don't bleat on about it. I've never done a video on it. I never will. And that's probably the only time I'm ever going to mention it on camera. But it's just... And I, and I, monet, and I monetize videos and I promote them. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's part of what I love to do. I want to get into this industry. I've always wanted to get into the media industry especially on the gaming level, I thought I just thought I could give something to it. And I thought it would give something to me. I've never been the best writer. I've never been the best person to articulate myself. I've never been a person to keep my emotions in control. This has helped. YouTube has helped that a lot. And I think it's also, I think, highlighted a few of my flaws, which I kind of use them to grow. I, mean, I, I accept them more nowadays. I accept my stutter. I accept the fact that sometimes I can come across a little bit arrogant. I accept that. I'm, I'm always accepted dumb sarcastic because I, I think I like that about myself. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I, I've never never been to be something I'm not in front of camera. And I think people that know me in person have talked to me on the phone and we've gone for a drink and that kind of, they, they realise that the person they see in front of the camera is 99% the same person. Um, Nova Bug is coming out of character for us, you know. <laughs> I'm not in character. But Nova Bug is 98, 90, 99, 90, 98% the same as Chris Weatherly. So it's enlightening, it's enriching, it's been educational, and I hope it continues to be all those things. Meeting the people has been the main thing. And that's really, really what, what it's about now. I, I want to expand ideas. I've got a million of ideas of what to do and how to do them and and when you when you meet people that start up I mean Daniel Slopes Game Room he's provided such a recent burst of inspiration in me and the way he does his stuff and the way professional does his stuff. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not blowing anyone's smoke up anyone's arse here. I'm just putting it as a point. And I want to incorporate more of that kind of stuff into my ideas and I've always had those ideas and it's just to take of time and you know, not really money, but time and effort to do it uh, whilst having a life. And I do have a life. I have a family life and a working life and all that kind of stuff. So let's get that blend. But YouTube has really helped that. It's not hindered me. I've never, I mean, I've got into a few rows and I've been trolled a few times. It's never broken me. It's never broken me back. It's never disheartened me. I've been down a couple of times, spoken to a few people personally about this. I get over it pretty quickly. I, I'm quite thick skin like that. I do react. I do bite. 
but I heal quickly as well. <laughs> so, you know, it bounces off me eventually. It, it, it might, it's like a, like a broken trampoline. Occasionally it'll absorb into the, into the canvas and then eventually I'll bounce it out. <laughs> it's a pun of a really bad metaphor. But it's, um, what is it to you? So to me it's, to sum up, to me it's something that has become part of me. Novabug has been fleshed out. Novabug was always just a screen avatar. Novabug was just an internet handle, an alias under a piece of writing or under a review. Novabug has become larger, has, has been in, in, enriched, has been fleshed out, as it were. Yeah, and this is, this is the bug you see. <laughs> it's a brand, I suppose, if you want to go down that corporate line. I know, I know that again that doesn't kind of bother me I mean it kind of bothers other people but again that's up to them I mean everyone's allowed allowed not entitled should I say to have their opinion on things and that's another thing that I can discuss I mean I have, I have been very proud of myself the fact that when I do clash with people for the most part there are a few exceptions but for the most part I was talking to Steve actually about this um, yesterday um, that we may have differences of opinion but we can still maintain a level of decorum and a friendship, which I like. I really like that um, about certain things. I mean, when it comes to gaming, opinions are, are not all that important, really, in the, the day, because you can disagree on certain things, but it's all subjective. And when we were talking about life things, then things get a little bit more serious. But, again, it's all about listening to each other, and you can learn off each other. And that's helped. It's helped break that... Um, code of sort of social awkwardness that sometimes I used to have because um, some people are just naturally fine like that in the real world aren't they some people are just open like that and I like to be as much as, as open as an approachable as I can be but it, it seems that being in front of the camera and via via the internet it's a lot easier uh, without being too detached without being too keyboard warrior because I'm not there <laughs> So I'm waffling on a bit. I'm, I'm sort of delving into my sort of uh, inner psyche here. I know while uh, Arthur Noid is playing behind me. <laughs> um, so don't worry. Uh, this ain't the end of anything. It's just a, I just thought I'd relax and open out a bit and talk about what is YouTube to you, because that's what it is to me. It's opportunity. It's it's inspiration. It's friendship. And uh, it's it's enjoyable. It's fun. I think that's the main word there. Fun. Even through the dark parts. Even when it gets a bit drama-ish. You know, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna take drama to heart, then it's the wrong thing to be doing. It really is. You shouldn't let it affect you like that. Do your thing. Be yourself. And you will reap what you sow. If you're a cunt. You'll be treated like a cunt. It's good. I don't say that word often, do I? There's a good reason I don't like it. I say apologies. I might beat that out. Cunt. There you go, I beat it out. Um, so, anyway, sorry. Getting a bit low here, but keeping on positive. Positive, 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 positive. Mood two. Um, that's, it, it, that's it, really. That's all I've got to say. That's the, that's the last word, the final word from my brother's game room. And I hope you've enjoyed it as a backdrop over the last year or so. Uh, with, uh, oh, what's his face there? I don't know any of his names. It's Luigi there. I'm just going to give you a few, end with a few things here. There's a uh, Cartman from, uh, what is that bloody South Park game called? Tack of the Butthole. I don't know. You, Everyone knows. I don't. There's something from Warcraft there, it's a little, uh, this is a, this is a pop, isn't it? That's a Fallout pop. In fact, I bought that for him from fucking play. <laughs> you know. Old oh, Scorpion, old oh, plushy Scorpion there. Come here! Get over there! There you go. I better not move it, it'll, it'll, it'll kill me. He, he, he hates me touching his stuff. So what's YouTube to you? Tell me, don't tell me. But always be good, I think. Always be yourself. Don't let YouTube get you down. If you don't think it's not for you, then don't just, don't, just don't do it. Um, you know, the thing that annoys me a lot is people that whinge and moan and moan and moan and moan and whinge and whinge all the time with no justification. 
Well, if you're not going to do anything, if it's, if it's a be all to nothing, and it, there's no end to it, then don't do it. You know, if you can resolve it, and get over it, then do it. So I think it's all about individual personality, isn't it? And perception, <laughs> that kind of thing. But it's, um, you know, three years ago, I wouldn't have been saying that YouTube is that important to me, and now it's become rather important to me. Uh, important because of friendships, mostly. Important because of knowledge, understanding, learning. And having goals and inspiration, having fun. <laughs> it's It's fun. It's fun. From my brother's game room, and until next time, never bug.